also, I can't believe how long my hair has gotten already. I feel like I just chopped it. And now it's at this length where it's like right at my shoulders and my shoulders push it up like this little wave. <laughs> so I'm like, do I grow it out? Do I chop it again? I don't know. put me on to Ryan Beatty. Um, I think I'm obsessed. I'm kind of in love. It's also like, at least this album, I don't know which one is this called? Calico, that he released last year. This is such a perfect like, summer to fall transition vibe. Like, especially cinnamon bread. I liked it this morning. I was like, this feels like a transitional album. It's like very calm and wholesome and I just love it. <laughs> Favorite scent ever. It's so good. I also got the new, um, what's it called? Orabella. I got the Salted Muse. It looks like this. It looks like a little dragon stone. <laughs> when I was checking out at Ulta buying this, the lady who was checking me out, she was like, you know, Salted Muse, like only baddies get that scent. And I was like, one, I'm flattered that you think I'm a baddie. And two, what do you mean? Like, tell me more. And she was like, well, some people think it smells like pickles. <laughs> I don't think it smells like pickles. I think it smells like walking outdoors in the forest back at home. Like, it reminds me of my childhood in a weird way. And I love it. So, I don't think this smells like pickles. <laughs> but these two are, like, my current favorite. The Jennifer Fisher, My Scent so good it's like warm musky like vanilla like very cozy scent and this one is like fresh outdoorsy i don't know i was always like a light flowery girl but now now we're transitioning and i like this for us <laughs> this is the vibe today all morning <laughs> also i haven't shown you guys this yet but this is my filming slash like personal training. I only have one personal training client right now, but this is where I train her and where I film everything for Nuri. I just think it's so perfect. I love it. <laughs> Sit on the floor with you guys right here because the lighting is good. If you can't tell, it's kind of dark back there, but it's a Sunday morning and I'm trying to get back into like some kind of routine. I just started a business. If you're new here, by the way, my name is Kimmy. I'm so happy that you're here. And I just started a business. I started like a wellness platform online and it's been really awesome, but it's also been such a big transition. Like, I don't know if you've ever been to a concert before and then the day after you're like kind of hungover from like the happiness and the dopamine. That's how I felt in this past week. It's only been a week since I've launched it, like exactly a week today, which is crazy. <laughs> but it feels really weird, like being the boss of myself and setting my own schedule and just like acknowledging that my life has really changed and that I'm the one who really changed it. <laughs> so I'm responsible for all this and I'm really happy with everything, but it's just a transition period, you know? But anyways, like I said, I'm trying to get back on some kind of schedule. So I'm like giving myself a set weekend, like Friday is a work day for me, Saturday and Sunday. I am like trying my best to unplug from like admin, emails, like all that kind of stuff. So I'm keeping them like more creative days where I can film for you guys. So like hopefully every single week I can get something fun up here for you, for you to see. So this Sunday, I am actually going to go to like some yoga rooftop event with my friend Alice. I love her so much. You'll get to see her soon. But we're going to that event. I was just invited to it. So we're going to go check that out. And then we're going to stay in the area. Maybe go to the farmer's market. We always go on a hot girl walk together. Like that's our tradition. We'll go on a walk and be like, oh my gosh, we just walked six miles. <laughs> and like we feel like we've only been walking for five minutes. Like that's the kind of friendship that we have together. So so who knows what we'll end up doing or where the wind will take us, but I'm down for whatever. I just want to like unplug and enjoy my friend time because I need that right now. That's really the plan for the day. I think later on I might like go to a cafe and just like 
chill with Benjamin and do some like self work, like journaling and like really just figure out what I want for myself in this next chapter of my life and like how I want my days to be structured. I still haven't sat down with myself and figured that out. So that would be really cool. And like yesterday I got all like the home cleaning and like the meal prepping done. So thankfully I don't have to bother with any of that today. So that's the plan. I'm gonna take you guys with me. It's gonna be a very like happy, quaint little Sunday. So let's do it. Welcome to our little cave. these old homes in Chicago is that the rooms are so teeny tiny but then the living spaces are like ginormous which I thought I really was not gonna like when we first moved in I was like oh wait this is like really small like getting her bed through there so happy I didn't have to do that but I actually kind of like it I think it's really cute and it's cozy <laughs> okay we are getting ready to go I got my little fit on Benjamin was just complimenting my pants because he likes the bunch at the bottom, not the flare, right? More than the flare, yeah. More than the flare. Okay. He prefers the bunch, not the flare. <laughs> We're going to get the bag together. Got my wallet in here. I'm going to put my Tower 20 spray in here because it just helps with my skin a lot. That was like my savior when I was teaching like three classes a day and just sweating through so much makeup. A little tamp, because you know, it's that time. And then the keys also. Please look at the keychain that I just got. It says head bleep in charge. I'm not gonna say it here in case anyone has little babies in the back, but I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> like the little confetti on it, obsessed. And then I got my little Glossier mat. I got this from teaching a yoga event for them. Well, it wasn't technically a yoga event. It was like a stretch event because I'm not certified in yoga. So we did not call it that, nor did I do yoga. But I got this little mat from them from doing that class last summer. And I still love it. And I get compliments on it like all the time, which is funny because it's just a little mat. Anyways, this is the fit. And we're going to go walk to the event. I'm going to be super early, but that's okay. That's okay because being early is being late. That's what my dad always tried to teach me. Did it work? No. <laughs> but today we're gonna try to implement that. By the way, this, this is my new like concoction. I don't know if you guys follow Kelly Grace May on TikTok or Instagram. I don't know if she's on YouTube, I don't think so. I probably would have found her right now because I love her. Highly suggest you follow, she's so funny. But she has this thing called like sexy water where you just like doctor up your water with a bunch of stuff. So I put chlorophyll drops in here, mineral drops, and then lots of lemon juice. And this has been like my jam for the past few days and I love it. Anyways, let's go. It's so pretty outside today. I love days like this. Every day should be like this. <laughs> which is so fun and just like food for the soul, you know? <sighs> I love that girl so much. But anywho, I am starving now. So I'm going to make probably my little five minute tuna salad shindig because I meal prepped it yesterday and it requires me to have some avocados, which my avocados are going bad. Well, they're going to go bad in like probably three days if I don't eat them. So we're gonna eat them right now. And then Benjamin's gonna come back and then we might go out to the lake. But I don't know 
exactly about that plan because it's really, really hot outside today. It's like steamy and I've been outside all day so far. So I don't know, maybe we can find a spot in like the shade because <laughs> your girl's getting dehydrated. But, oh, that reminds me. I'm gonna have some of my sexy water again. Let's see, yes. Oh, hell yeah. Boom, love it. It's time. Let's make some food. We got the tuna, some pickles, red onions, red pepper chili flakes, and then just some pepper. I usually also put dill in this, but I don't know, for whatever reason, I forgot. <laughs> so we're just gonna add some avocado. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Also gonna have it with these little savory crackers. I think these are just rice crackers, yeah. Rice flour, sesame seed, and then tamari sauce. They're really good. Oh, I'm kind of on me. And let's chow down. Cheers. Literally the easiest meal ever and so good. We're going to the lake. We're going to the lake. Hey, go to the lake. We're going to the lake. Hey, you picking up what I'm putting down? Always. Always. We're gonna go to Target and get sour gummy worms <laughs> because I have been craving sour gummy worms. I looked at Benjamin and I said, this has to stop somewhere. And he said, why? And that's the only answer I'll accept, you know? That was the right answer. <laughs> it's not always the answer, but in this case. In this case, we can have sour gummy worms, you know? We can enjoy it. We, it's always me. I, we I. Would we like to go to Target for what we want? It is a we now. Yeah, It's beautiful. After 10 us. years of being together, it's, We're merging. Do you want to do that? Is that true? <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> Don't be weird. <laughs> we're merging. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Target and we're gonna get the little snackies that I'm craving. And then we're gonna go to the lake. Yeah, I was saying. We're gonna go to the lake and I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling. What are you gonna work on at the lake? You gonna do anything? Just chill? The world may never know. World may never know. <laughs> so that's the plan. Nice little Sunday. A little sun sleigh. <laughs> he loves it. Don't be fooled. He loves it. <laughs> Are you zooming in? <laughs> yeah. I would go closer, but it won't let me. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> Hi cutie! Cutie patootie. This neighborhood is just so cute. You know what else is cute? <laughs> my dream weekly schedule should look like and I'm so happy with it it's also just so surreal that I'm even able to do this right now like it's dawning on me right now that I've officially made this decision I'm like wow it's real it's happening I used to absolutely 
just daydream about being able to do this and like what my life could look like if I had, you know, the power to do whatever I wanted. And now we do, baby. It's so crazy. And I just feel so grateful. So had to share that. Very surreal thought. Anyways, now I'm going to make some playlists. Number one, I have a really cool event happening on the 21st of this month. It's called Deep House Yoga, and it's like a silent disco. But there's a live DJ, Alyssa Jo. She's the coolest person ever. She asked me to teach at the event. So it's like you start off with a yoga class, and then you go into ecstatic dance, basically just like jamming out, partying, and like letting yourself be free and loose and having fun. And then a meditation at the end, and there are like bubbles. It gets dark on this rooftop, and you can see like the sunset and the city and the skyline. It's just gorgeous. All the while, you're like headphones on, jamming out, can't hear a single thing except for the music. And it's just such a cool experience. So I'm teaching the ecstatic dance part of that, which is so funny because like I haven't taught dance in so long. I used to be a professional dancer. I danced professionally here in Chicago for two years. And a little bit of that, I actually taught at Equinox. I taught like a dance cardio format there, but they quickly like grabbed me in the cycle program. Like one of the guys who led the cycle program was like, you're coming over to my team. And I was like, okay. And then I didn't teach dance cardio since, but I mean like dancing is one thing, but like teaching dance is another. So this will be fun. It'll be interesting. <laughs> I think it'll be really cool. And it's like a fun new challenge for me. I'm also thinking like, hmm, like should I include some kind of like dance cardio? at Nuri just for like a little bit of cardio because I do love me like a crazy dance session if I'm feeling like super stressed or just like want to get a bunch of energy out of my body I'll like shut the lights off turn on a really good song and just like jam out until I like sweat and feel exhausted and like have to sit on the floor that's like my favorite form of cardio and I'm thinking that I add that to Nuri I don't know let me know what you think I guess I'll see how this event goes first if I'm even comfortable like leading it because it's been so long anyways I'm gonna make the playlist it's normally like house music that we play at this event we they play at this event um, this is my first time ever teaching it but I'm trying to sneak in like a Beyonce and a Chapel Road song fingers crossed Alyssa approves that <laughs> I just got out of the shower and we got home from dinner. It was really good. I got a little steak on my salad. I got a Caesar salad without the croutons from Gemini. And Benjamin and I both agree that if you're ever in Chicago, you should definitely go to Gemini if you're a fan of fries because Gemini has probably maybe my favorite fries in the city. That Pizzeria Portofino and also Beatrix fries, mm, delicious. Anyways, <laughs> we're sitting down right now and we're gonna watch the season finale of House of the Dragon. Oh my gosh, it's an hour and 24 minutes. <laughs> so we're about to buckle up into this thing, but I just wanted to close out my vlog here and say thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next one soon.